Duncan gets spooked. Autumn had arrived on the island of Sodor. The little engines on the Skaloi railway were clearing broken branches and leaves from their railway. Peter Sam, with Rusty's help, brought trucks full of branches to Lakeside, where they would be transported by ship. One day, Rusty helped Peter Sam to a water tower. Thank you, Rusty. No problem, Peter Sam. The trucks were bored. Let's break away! They giggled, and they tugged at Peter Sam's coupling, which broke. Hurrah, hurrah, faster! Oh no, come back! yelled Peter Sam. The trucks ran down the hill and passed the danger sign. One of the trucks' wheels caught in the sleepers and derailed, taking down the train with it. Meanwhile, Peter Sam was rushing to the scene of disaster. Do you see them? Yes, down there. This is our fault. We didn't secure them properly. We'll need Rusty's help to get them out. The fat controller will be very annoyed. And he was. You will continue to shunt trucks in the quarry until I can trust you to be more careful with trucks in the future. And he left the quarry. Fancy not securing your trucks on a hill. They'll come back to spook you and your special funnel. Woo! Pa, you're one to talk after derailing before Crossney Curran. That was not my fault. Of course, it's never your fault. At least I'll stand back before getting my trucks from the incline. At least I don't stop at places I'm not supposed to like your viaduct story. Why don't I tell you a story that'll make your funnel shiver, Duncan? Pa, I'm not scared of anything. Go on, tell your story. Well, it was a long time ago. A little engine was returning home. It suddenly lost control, swept aside and fell off the old iron bridge, into the swamps below. Many a workman will tell you that, when the moon is full, they have seen the little engine trying to get home, but it never reaches the other side. So what do you think of that, Duncan? Rubbish. It just things that go bump in the night. <sighs> never mind, Peter Sam. He'd be terrified if he really saw a ghost. No, I wouldn't. He would. Was that story true? I'm not sure. Maybe. The next morning before Duncan set off, Peter, Sam's driver and fireman talked to Duncan's crew. They were in on their little plan. We'll do it tonight. Duncan left the quarry. As he crossed over the old iron bridge, he heard a shrieking noise. It's just old. Yeah, that Rusty doesn't know what he's talking about with his made-up story. I hope. After a hard day of traveling back and forth to and from the quarry, it was time for their last journey. If we don't hurry up, Skaloi will take my favorite place in the sheds. We can't go yet. We still have to wait for our slate trucks to come down the incline. Ugh, that's Duncan. It was night when they set off. Duncan's whistle echoed everywhere. The old iron bridge came into view. Duncan was terribly nervous. Duncan suddenly stopped. He looked ahead. It's the ghost! Get away! Let me get away! 